Hey guys, how's it going? Thankfully, things for me have been building up for the better. Ish. I'm not one to brag, but I have to give a bit of a rant on a, the, 20, the 2010 to 2020 decade that we've had so far. Just highlight the good, the bad, even the things that were, you know, pretty bore, broad and obvious to everyone. But even to things as well too that, you know, happen more on a personal level that I feel the urge to, well, to highlight per se. When the 2000s ended and the 2010s started off, I thought that this would be the f the moment that we would finally get the future with the ro robots and the flying cars and other forms of highly advanced technology. At least uh, that uh, Back to the Future 2 would say that 2015, it would be that f moment, but, I mean, it, of course, by now we know that it never happened, and because that at least 2010 for me was actually a very, I mean, let me correct that, it was actually one of the best years of my life, for, surprisingly, but to my surprise, when 2011 rolled in, things weren't changing at all. In fact, some things were just barely changing at all. I honestly can't say for certain what could be the cause of it, but deep down inside, I felt like something was terribly off. It wasn't much, it felt more of a nuisance, but later on over time it just escalated into the clown world we all know and love and are all forced to endure. And it just saps everyone to... Just saps them off in any way it can. And it's just, you know, for a small amusement of a... Of a, of a small few at the expense of the majority. And even those were the times when I was a believer for the left-wing cause. Since I raised up to be the good kid. And uh, how everything I was supposed to do was just to do as I was told and whatnot, that the adults back in the day were the wise and reasonable ones. Otherwise, and if I was to do something bad, then I would just be intimidated back into place by... I know other than the soulless communist ghouls who think they can run out society and just do as they so please upon everyone else and whatnot. <sighs> But thankfully it wasn't all that bad, given how there were some things to balance out things, given the majority of things, well, they seemed just basically pointless at times. For one, when I, it was around 2012-ish that I started on my channel, I mean, it used to be much, much different back then, uh, same goes as well too for when I created my persona back then and you know despite the fact that I could have changed them and any given time of the year and whatnot or the years to come I didn't because I does I loved the character so much that I've stick with them ever since and I've also <clears throat> been updating to the character as well and whatnot I mean over time and whatnot and one of the most important things about uh, the 2020, the 2010 uh, decade was that there were a lot of people that I didn't manage to meet, both good and bad, but the one, you know, that stands out the most of them all, which, I mean, the many of them would just consider them to be quite, uh, you know, controversial for the pettiest reasons ever, I'd say for them would be the Freddy Raiders. Because I honestly love these guys so much, whereas the the more normy ones that I've managed to come across and whatnot, they would just see me as an outcast for going against their communist ideals and whatnot. And therefore, I mean, when I decided to join in the Free Raiders, then they just welcomed me up with open arms. And ironically, compared to all the things I've heard and whatnot. It was complete, genuine bullshit. Because most of the time you spend on the internet, there are often a lot of good 
and bad people and you know people of uh, all kind of karma per se and even you know that some people are often you know in spreading rumors would be a more would be a more accurate way of expl of putting it and <clears throat> that some people they they are just they would just love to throw others under the bus only so that they would stroke their own ego and that and that's just basically a, the common occurrence to essentially deal about on a daily basis every once in a while and the fire raiders aren't really all that different given that people have a problem with the group's uh, main theme or what they assume it to be hence their opinion to be engraved in gold while well, the very important thing that they often ignore is the mere fact that while being on the internet there are other groups that are way way far worse so far worse in fact that they make the raiders look tame compared to the what the word they dictate to the word that they dictate to others and whatnot and there's also the other side as well the normies of the easiest ones to be found around especially the ones most likely to stab you in the back at least from we can say from personal experience most of them just confirms to whatever social norms they're under seeing that everyone and everyone else has the weird ones for stepping out of the lines these guys wouldn't shy you off from singling out of, the, of singling out of the others you know and yet the biggest irony was that even before the 2010 decade at least they still used to be around well I mean they still are but they were mostly seen as nut jobs despite you know still being around they weren't much of a that much significance <coughs> as people were used to mind their own business back in the day but despite the 10 year scenario I mean it only feels like it only feels like 10 seconds I mean just seconds you know for this cultural revolution to that just took place and the effect was just change everything for the worse created problems that should never even exist in the first place for instance but if we ever had any choice in the matter it would just keep on decomposing itself to the core yet we can only seek whatever comfort we could find in an alienated world perhaps driven by the people who or I believe it would be in the future when in reality there's basically no difference to to what things have already been so far yet now bastardizing some weird acid fantasy we're all yeeted into <sighs> and it's been a decade that we've been struggling ever since and the problem has been haunting us for every day we try to just enjoy ourselves of just any single measly day in our own godforsaken lives one way or another it all just comes for us that in those talks about global warming flat earth anti-vaccine or anything else in the matter you just endlessly keeps on being forced in our daily lives well we have to take it all in otherwise some people will make it pretty apparent that they would take pleasure to punish those who would even dare to step out of line I do greatly miss the olden days before any of this even existed yet we find ourselves as being progressively being dragged down into a more politically correct hellscape regardless if we have to say in it has been getting on more and more apparent with a day and as 2019 came to an end I was expecting it would all just die off to a better decade we can clearly see how 2020 started off Australia being lit up by wildfires World War 3 getting extremely close to happening and most importantly we're all still in the political hellhole that we are all forced to spend every day in every day into it uh, regardless if it's already been a decade or so and clearly I mean this kind of future that we definitely were did not even want it to be a part of yet we are
But then again, it wasn't all that bad per se. Such as, we did have some good YouTubers that have been blooming for the last decade. And to be honest, some of them have been laying off some very amazing work. <laughs> Such as, Connor's Conquest for one. Then there's also, Pyrocynical, No Fuckers, Leafy is here, Just the Robot, H3, 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 PewDiePie, Jacksepticeye, Markiplier, and I cannot forget, Unus Anus, and among others as well too that I could just list off the top of my head at the very moment. And yes, I know that some of those may not be alive, but at the same time I just find it to be very important to give some regard to the work that they've done in the past. Apart from that, it was pretty obvious that the 2010 decade wasn't as best as it could have been, given all the cha radical changes we've we experienced, for better or for worse, time still moves on, with a bit of time comes a lot of maturity, I find that all that's been happening does give indeed have quite a lot of opportunities to reflect on the past, such as how the hell did we get to this point, and it also gives us plenty of opportunity to reflect on ourselves to become a much better, smarter, wiser person. I'm not gonna say that I've been a saint, I'm just the same as the others. I have to have the mistakes, even some wish that never goes away, and also those that I still beat myself up from time to time. You can't become a better person if, if, if there's nothing to improve upon. Even if by the time we realize it's already too late to say sorry, it's, well, it's important to apologize for whatever bad deeds we done back then. If it's not for the other party, because like I said, it's already too late. It would be mostly for yourself. The apology would be to thrive, to become a better person. And in many different ways that would seem fitting for said person and as to how. I mean, what, what said person would go for because every different person has different ways that works for it works in different ways for whatever the case and whatnot may have been. So, therefore, it's all it's the is important to find out what works for the betterment for oneself. I also do want to apologize for this one taking too much time to finish. I've been spending too much time with chores, jobs, and procrastinating as well. But in short, I'm just very disappointed in, in how little technologically we have advanced, as well as being dragged in so deep into the abyss of social-political battles for the last two decades, and spending all that time lost with some liabilities that cause more losses than gains to essentially everyone. But also again on the bright side, to think that the last decade was completely bad would be quite unfair. Come to think of it, since I didn't mention before being a shitty person in the past, I was also being also being manipulated by left wing politics. Needless to say that some of the things would have turned far more worse than I ever been than I ever thought for even following that path. Remember my views on the left wing? Well, guess what? That could have been me had I ever broken free from all the lies and manipulation. And the result being, the result being quite obvious. <laughs> just people who are tuned in with all the propaganda, especially those on the global warming or even Extinction Rebellion per se. I just want to thank God for getting rid of the leash that's been keeping me miserable for so long and for absolutely no damn reason whatsoever <laughs> even for even even so for lead for landing me in the freighter raiders too it really makes a difference when you finally find that one community that you that i can fit and have some people that can call friends and love them so dearly regardless of those who constantly tell me to leave the raiders and so on but the thing is, why should I go on in their word? It took me way too long to find a place where I can finally fit 
as I have no intentions to ever leave that group, only because some certain few people would want, would recommend me, or even demand me to do so. <laughs> Plus the fact that if, that if I ever leave the Raiders, it'll be the same thing all over again, poking around different communities, being rejected by the slightest reason, and for this, only so to even waste my time too much, only so to come back to the same time of communities. It's not a very feasible thing, but even the still as well too, after what would seem to be a happier life after breaking free and finding my own place, still wouldn't make me fully happy given the fact that the people who lied and manipulated me are still out there in the loose, lying and manipulating to other people as well too, causing problems from everyone and getting away with it. And even the self-loathing as well too for even a lie to happen in the first place and having the all, all those years stolen away for absolutely nothing. Yet the most interesting part of it is to make a decision to keep the leash on and live a life of selfish pleasures at the expense of everyone else or break free from all the lies and have your chance to learn everything that the leftists have been lying, been hiding, been manipulating for about a long time. Even if <coughs> it would come as a bit of an extra to face a bit of self-hatred for whatever the reason seems fit, it's pretty obvious that freedom, that freedom isn't free, but the price to pay is well worth it. Even supposing that others didn't make the choice to free themselves, and yet struggle with some things such as depression or even disappointment and self-loathing. I'm not gonna say my experiences. If you look at the other ones who proclaim themselves as the far left, you would see that you're actually doing way better than you can imagine as well too. And just keep on going as well too. You're doing very, very good. A diff a different um, and more lighter topic to discuss about would be of the fact that I'm not much of an incel that some commies would claim. That being said, I mean, it's actually the fact that I did fall in some relationships here and there. And, of course, that they ended. Be it for better or not. I'd also be lying a little too if I said I fully got over them or not. Which would be complete bullshit. To be honest, I never got over a lot of them. And that can be both good and bad at the same time, because... Well, I mean bad, because you remember, you know, the good stuff that had going on and how bad it went. But good as well, too, because at least some of the good memories that still linger around are those that are motivational. I do apologize if this is taking way too longer than it should. I mean, for days to months and whatnot. Even for a reference or two of time, by now is where and I know that Kobe and Gahande uh, and the helicopter crash, unfortunately. Then again, I mean, after I graduated jobs and all, the need for jobs had become super important for one, among other things that are, I mean, that come in the way, and also the fact that I need to reflect on some of the things over time that. I mean, they do take a lot more, a lot more effort to, to remember them in detail, not to mention also the fact that, how can I say, that when, <coughs> that just, so many things happen, you know, in the last decade, it's just, it's just, you know, too much put in in one, uh, in one episode, and, I mean, one video, and just, Try to remember the be all of it in one go and whatnot. It's something. And on the topic of jobs, I'll admit I can do a much more detailed video on it. All I can say is feel refreshed and rewarding to finally be able to do something with my life that I've been waiting so long to do. But at the same time, from a curse perspective, I feel like I hit the limit. Like there's nothing more to life now than just to work, but. At the same time, I could be wrong. But still, I feel like I ramble on for long enough. There's still a lot on my mind and still want to talk and whatnot. 
But that can wait for another time as well. That has really been taking on too much time to make it well. Therefore, I'll have to end this one here so I can move on to the projects and whatnot. One last thing. While well, living on my own can be fun, yet more of a roll a dice roll up the dice kind of deal. Some things for me have been good and bad at the same time. Given some case I find myself very lucky to get myself some good housing at a reasonable rent, compared to what other boomers are screwing their tenants while doing the least for them as I heard. Some grocery store nearby and whatnot, among other things that a small town can enjoy. But on either side of the coin, older houses have the absolute worst soundproofing I've ever seen. Especially because some neighbors decided it would be a good idea to blast the shittiest radio music on repeat, even through the night, without wearing some fucking headphones. And a dog, you know? Or dogs that are always howling for attention. They never paid any wolf fines. That, that's as bad as... That's as bad as, you know, dodging your your taxes and whatnot. <sighs> Ugh. But also old boomers with big trucks that are always behind the wheel. They never stop for red lights. They never stop for stop signs. They always get their horns blasted on them. And the best part is, I've been nearly run over by them on a few occasions. But anyways, that's, uh... I mean, there's a lot of things, I mean, that could go on for a long time, but that's anyways I have to do for the time being. Hope you guys enjoyed this another one as much as I did, and I look forward to the next one, so hope to see you guys next time, and until then.